Greetings dear friends, I present your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Cadillac Escalade GMT-800. The body here, as you already know, is not load-bearing, a powerful frame is hidden under it. For a car that is designed to be driven primarily on asphalt, this is not the best choice. But in this case, the size of the cabin was not affected. And as for the mass with cheap gasoline in the United States, this is not so important. Like many American cars, the original Escalade is not corrosion resistant. Fortunately, many cars were already assembled in Kaliningrad, and most of the officially supplied cars were treated with anti corrosion material rather carefully. Cars from Germany and Sweden usually also show clear signs of careful processing. But the cars that were brought from the United States during the low dollar years were often not subjected to additional processing, and the state of the body now can already be very sad. Right down to holes in the fenders and seals. The situation is similar with the frame. If it hasn't been processed, then it may already be hopelessly rotten. In general, you need to look carefully, especially under the plastic. With age, the joints of the body and the frame become loose. It is advisable to change the pillows on time. The attachment points are a traditional concentrator of corrosion. Even on cleaning grad assembled cars, the bottom is at risk, especially if you draw off-road by a car and didn't wash all the corners of the dirt after driving. The salon, as already mentioned, is excellent, especially at first. At the age of 10 problems already begin to appear. The quality of the leather is not the best. It is trivially erased, wooden linings come off, panel fasteners, drives and seat latches break. In addition, light interiors are very dirty due to the poor design of the cabin filter and plastic attract dirt. All this requires careful and accurate restoration. Unfortunately, business is often limited to collective farming in the form of kilograms of self-tapping screws and hot melt glue. In addition to these kinds of problems, the interior equipment often upsets the pointed steering column and failures of the climate control drives. The steering column is lubricated, tightened, hinges are changed in it, or a new column assembly is purchased. And for climate control, it is recommended to install a new control unit, manufactured after 2004, with an older front left flap drive wears out noticeably faster than the others. It would seem that a simple chassis is a simple electrician, but in reality this is not entirely true. Affected by the American approach and a noticeable complication in relation to the basic level of pickups. The quality of gas of the gasket leaves much to be desired, and there are a bunch of simple problems in the engine compartment. The harness under the wing about the plastic locker, which will be constantly wet, and in the event of the breakdown and loss of the locker, will simply swim in the mud with will especially please the owners. The engine compartment wiring is characterized by a weak harness to the injectors and to the ignition coils, and the frame structure also needs a separate harness of masses, which eventually breaks down. The consequences are the most sad, failures of almost all sensors, misfires, glitches of cell and electrics. Fortunately, many do not follow the masses, considering this is a matter not particularly important. But anyway, the lamp holders for the rear and front optics are rather weak. With age, there is a relationship with cheap pickups. The load on the generator is high here and the variants of genes with a current of less than 180 ampere are often loaded to the full, which doesn't affect the resource in the best way. Replacing with cheaper options turns the generator into a consumable, and the original from AC Delco is very pricey. Take care of yours. If there are signs of voltage instability and bearing noise, it is better to make repairs in advance. A feature of the maintenance of these machines is the need for ex extrusion. Yes, like on the old Volga. If neglected, the suspension will turn out to be an expensive consumable. If not neglected, the reliability is very high, despite the weight of the machine. It is necessary to inject it depending on the installed components, upper and lower ball front suspension, steering tip and tire road, steering bipod. But there are enough simple silent blocks here, the front levers are, and rear links are assembled on them. The price of the components bites, but if you are lucky, then only inexpensive parts will have to be changed. Separate control is needed for the rear axle pneumatics. Shock absorbers need to be sorted out and the compressor should be protected. Many organize air intake for, for it from the trunk or put filters on the intake. This significantly increases its resource, which is usually about 40-60 thousand kilometers. The brakes are quite reliable, especially if there are discs in a circle. But the pipes and fittings for the pumping are already at the age of 5, and on cars now the brake pipes are often already replaced with copper. The relatives are rather weak, they especially suffer in the area of the rear seats. The resource of pads and discs on a heavy and powerful CUV is small, they have to be changed often, and with active movement, the brakes can be set on fire, they are rather weak for such a mess. The ABS ESP unit sometimes fails, the probability is not zero, it is worth checking for operability in a hot state. The Escalade steering is classic, with a steering gear and a separate power steering, so with Zora bipods, shafts and long steering rods and also with an increased tendency to backlash. 
the steering gear is not particularly durable, but on the other hand, there are a lot of factory restoration units on sale. The load on the power steering is large. Breakage of pipes and the pump is a common thing. Those at risk are those who spin the wheels on a stationary car and use extra wide tires. The replacement cost is not particularly high, but the elimination of backlash can cause a pretty penny. Everything is traditional and reliable here. Two propeller shafts are not brought in so often, but it is worth checking for backlash regularly and the cross passes need to be injected at each MOT. The continuous axle at the rear rarely fails, mainly in the case of water ingress and lack of lubrication due to leaked oil seals or a clogged breather. Here is the transfer case, a weak note. The chain regularly breaks down and in neglected cases the, no the housing bearings in the area of U200B, U200B, the bearings. Again, often the problem is insufficient oil level or non-adherence to drain intervals. If you regularly use the only engine's power, then prepare money not only for gasoline and automatic transmission repairs, but also for replacing the transfer case. The machines are all for a stage, but there remains several series. Sometimes it is the old school 4L80, but more modern 4L60, 4L65 are more common. By the way, in theory, there may even be an MG5 manual gearbox at EXT, but I think there are simply no such options in Russia. Automata 4L80 are distinguished by inevitable enviable health and durability. No wonder they were put on trucks and hummers as well as Rolls Royce. By design, the automatic goes back to the three stage 1965, and this is not a drawback at all. If the machine is often operated with a trailer, then there is a chance for the direct package to burn, but usually the problems are associated solely with wear of the solenoids and contamination of the well body. The more common automatic transmissions of the 4L60, 4L65 series are faster, but not as reliable. And it's not that they are designed for less torque, it's just that their settings are more stable. They know how to work in a fashionable way with the partial blocking of the gas turbine engine. Gearbox assemblies do not withstand poor maintenance. The gas turbine engine and its blocking linings are at first are the first to surrender, then the well body solenoids and the well body itself, and finally go to the clutches. However, in case of quiet operation, the box is practically eternal. A resource of more than 300,000 km is more than sufficient for today. Another thing is that it drops sharply if the owner for some reason confused this escalate for a sports car. With this style of movement, the box often refused with runs up to 100,000, even during the warranty period. Engines are the joy of the owner. Basically, there are LQ9, LQ4 engines with a volume of 6.0 liters, much less often LM7 5.3 engines. If this tells you something, then they are related to the LS series, the famous small block in other American classics. The design with one camshaft in the camber and hydraulic lifters in the valve drive is extremely reliable and proven over the years. There are a few vulnerabilities. The pump is weak until 2004, a problematic EGR valve, long spark plug wires, sensors, a throttle wiring. Yes, perhaps that's all. Such motors run for a very long time and are designed for tens of years of operation. On this caddy, they also do not fail. If you regularly change consumables and keep the control system in good condition, then you will not be a hassle. Of course, there is marriage and some kind of accidental breakdowns, but in most cases it can be considered eternal. Many owners install HBO on these motors, but in this case, problems with burnout of valves are possible, and the number of power system failures increases significantly, and the resource of the piston group is clearly decreasing, which combined with the high mileage of cars makes this option undesirable when buying. On this information about the problems of the Cadillac Escalade GMT 800 is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.